Got to put the skirt boards and the lattice on the side of the deck here. So I just cut this thing to size, mitered the ends of it, and that's just going to go right on the edge here like this, flush with the top of the deck. I'm just going to continue measuring this out, finish screwing it in. Keep in mind here too, easy mistake to make. Don't forget that this board is flush with the one up here, so you can't be driving a screw at your normal spots because you'll be drilling right into the deck board. So I gotta bring those down a little bit. That's all screwed into place. Now, the reason why I like doing it like this is because once this is attached, you end up with a little sliver of the framing still exposed there, and that's a perfect spot to attach your lattice to. Now, it's a little tip here, guys. You can see down in the back of this miter here we have that corner bracket that's kind of getting in our way and if we were just to do a straight 45 miter on the end of our deck board that's not going to allow us to close it up too well so a little trick get your board put your 45 on it and then on the back side you basically cope the back of it out now just reverse the board around on your saw and bring the blade down and cut the back off just make sure when you're doing that that you don't cut all the way through. You got to maintain this top piece here because you're going to see that on the top part of the deck. No one's ever going to go crawl into your deck and look at the bottom and see that this thing isn't flush. You just got to keep the top. When you do that, and you butt this in here, you can see it closes that thing off real nice. Okay, that's what you're looking for, like that. This is going to butt into here. Now I cut this to rough length, but I want to check before I finish it off is that when this other board comes on the side that everything's going to meet nice because if you were just to measure to the edge of this and cut your 45, I guarantee it's not going to line up when you go to put the next skirt board on. Alright, so with that clamped on, just got to pull this thing flush and bring this guy in. This is a scrap piece and you can see we're still quite a ways away. That's how much we have to cut off uh, this board here to get it to mate up nice. So just get yourself uh, one of your scrap pieces like this and use that as a template. As you're going around the deck, you can line everything up. All right, so another tip for you guys. I drove this first screw in for this board here exactly where I want it. And you can see we have a little bit of a gap here on the miter. So to close that up, reverse your drill, back your screw out ever so slightly and that'll close your miter up. Now you'll create a little bit of a space up here on the top part, but you know, that pretty much matches the rest of the deck boards anyway with the spacing you have. So in my opinion, it's a lot better to have these miters closed up than have this gap perfectly tight. All right, so, so this last piece over here, I cut it and what I did, as you can see over here, the framing doesn't quite come up to the edge of the house, but I think if I cut this board to 
fit right in there against the house. I think that'll give it a nice finished look having it like that. Notch that out a little bit. That should fit in there good now. Yes, it does. Trim pieces in. And then, this should be a shorter one. Yep. Bend that into place. And then this guy. Snap. I keep saying snap. It doesn't snap on, it just kind of sits there loosely but that'll go up there like that and that's it so you so you dress up the edge of a deck I remember I overran the skirt board a little bit so there's nothing there to screw it into but I could screw the lattice in and I also have that block from the concrete forms that I just left in the, uh, the slab down there so I could actually screw into that too so hold this into place I'm just gonna be using some inch and five eighths deck screws now they sell special screws that you could use to put this stuff in I don't I don't think they're really necessary the key with this is just to drill an oversized hole into the lattice that way when this does heat up it's got a little room to expand and contract all right it's similar to installing vinyl siding they tell you not to hang the siding and um, pound the nails in all the way leave them a little loose so it can expand contract obviously uh, same type of deal with this drill bit for these. Again, we want it to be slightly oversized, but not too much where the head goes through the, the hole. <laughs> Can I even put that in the video? We don't want the screw hole. It's getting worse as I go along. All right, so we don't want our pilot hole to be bigger than the head of the screw. Let's pop that in here. start screwing <laughs> all right so we want this to be lifted up to the top of the deck should really come down here first and line this up drill a hole right here a Milwaukee drill with a DeWalt impact gun with DeWalt drill bits oh he can't do that he's got to pick a brand you got to be brand loyal nope I could care less what brand I use, as long as it works. All right, so put it in all the way and then back it out a little bit so it can move. That's what you're looking for. You don't want it too tight. like that. So we're going to trim down just a hair more. It's a little too tight, but butt these two pieces up together like that and then just drill some holes and screw them together and it, uh, it dresses up the edge of this thing and makes it look finished. It's the way you do it. I'm not sure if they sell corner pieces for this. They might. I don't think they sell them in Lowe's. You have to buy them or special order them. So this is a good way of putting them together quick and not waiting. All right, so I'm going to cut this piece and install it the same way I did this one over here. I'm gonna finish that one up over there the same way, and that's it for the lattice. All right, so that's a wrap, guys. This lattice is all done. Skirt board's all done, wrapped around here. It looks really good. Ties everything in. New part of the deck here than the rest of it, the existing deck. Happy with the way this came out. Take a peek here, you can see how I uh, did this corner. Again, just two pieces, put it together. Screws driven in from the one side to hold it together, and same type of treatment over here, obviously and I finished it off with another trim piece on this end so that's all good to go all closed in all right guys thanks for watching see you in the next one